Black and red bands, your bare feet covered in sand. White jet trails across a blue sky, your ponytail showing off the sunshine. Like a postcard out of nowhere, you get to me, you give me that smile, and I'm somewhere, somewhere, sunny. like to do step ups, um, lean over, touch the other side of the horse, um, move the stirrup around, touch their butt. I don't do it right here. I think I might do it on the, one of these step ups. Um, I like to move them around a little bit before I get on as well. So I'm leaning halfway over. I am super comfortable. If you look at my left hand, I'm holding on to this, to the saddle. I'm sunk down in there so she can really feel all of my weight, but I'm distributing my weight evenly so I'm not pulling the saddle over. If you stand up just on one side, you're gonna pull it over. It's gonna be weird for them. They don't like it. Sometimes they will move around because it's awkward. Um, so I get up, fully commit to distributing that weight all the way my, I'm leaning into her. I'm over, I think this is where I kick. Um, but I just get her to, to move over a few steps. Nope, not where I kick. <laughs> I get her to move over a few steps um, just so she can get used to carrying my weight when she's moving. And the reason I'm halfway on is that position puts me in a pretty safe position to um, bail out if things get crazy. And she, I think I asked her to move, but she was super stiff and like kind of on the muscle for her. So sometimes I'll get off and I'll ask them to move around to unstick them because if you put a lot of pressure on a horse that is quote unquote sticky where they don't want to move, they don't want to walk, they just want to stay in one spot and they're almost frozen. Those are the horses if you put too much pressure on them, they will blow up. They will buck. They will run away. They will do something. Um, so I'm just doing a few step ups, leaning on her. This is where I really ask her to move. You can't see from this angle, but I do kick her and she does take a step not much but I give her that release because she did do what I asked so you gotta you gotta find a middle ground with what you ask because she they're not gonna get it perfect the first time but I like having them move when I'm halfway on so it's safer for me if they blow up it doesn't take much for you to move me just the way It's a holiday when we're together I want to stay with you forever Somewhere, somewhere sunny and 75 You and me on a beach chair yeah, so This is the same day I just changed just so I looked a little better for videos for the first ride. Alrighty, I will try and explain as best I can, but if anyone has comments or questions, um, they can ask in the comment area. So I only have my right turn right now. So I like to ride with a halter. For the first ride, <clears throat> I have my right turn only, and I right there you can see I had my flagger um, like catch the horse's eye and shoulder because she was just wanting to go right. So he's controlling her on the ground. Her, her, her groundwork and her round painting and everything is great. That's why she keeps trying to look into him and turn in and stop. She's, um, and I'm just trying to keep the forward moment, momentum going. He's using the flag to push her away and I am just a passenger. If shit hits the fan, then I have my right turn and 
she can buck all she wants, run all she wants. I have right turn and I have the back of the saddle horn to hold on to, to stick into it. Um, I got that method from another trainer, Mark Lyon, and it is amazing and it has helped me with my colt starting tremendously. Um, I think this horse, I just counted, I think this horse is number 16 in 11 months that I've started and that's just like horses that come to me. That's not even trying. Like I, I could definitely start a heck of a lot more. Um, so you could see I, I leaned over, switched sides, so I have my left turn now. And then same thing, I'll, I'll ask her to move a little bit, but the flagger is primarily doing all the work. I don't like to throw too many things at once. I don't like putting the first ride on and work on direction. Left, right, stop, forward. I would rather her get used to um, me on her back, the weight on her back, and somebody else controlling her movement like she's used to and like she knows. So right here she gets stuck and she turns right. She's set up to continue going in the left circle right now, but the fact that she pulled through my hands ignored me. I'm not gonna let her get away with that type of pressure ignoring me. So that's why I two-handed pulled her to the left. Once she spun around, I released, gave her her release, that correct answer, and then had my flagger keep moving around. 